Hey, welcome to Can You Live YouTube channel, a YouTube channel where we can talk anything under the sun in the free world, in our free time with the free people. So, if you are new to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and click the notification button for video updates. Basically, I'm, I, I am a full-time teacher and a part-time YouTuber. So, I'm going to upload videos maybe two, three times a week or maybe something like that in my free time, in my free world, and as a free person. So, stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you. So, I saw a post on Facebook about Maria Reza receiving the Nobel Peace Prize. You know, when you receive your Nobel Peace Prize, it elevates you in a status in the community to another level. Okay, so was like was very proud of her, to be honest. So nakaka proud yon kapag ikaw yung nakamsit, because there were only few select people given the award. Especially when you contributed so much in the community or in the field of work you are in rendering to the people around you in the service of the, the people okay well she's the first Filipino to receive the award first number one okay but uh, that's good that's good that's good news to be honest the only thing that irates me with in regard to her award is that the reason why she was given the award she was critical to the Duterte administration as you can see she was like she had you don't really have to be critical to a person to be given the award okay so it's ironic in the sense considering that it's a prestigious award you are contributing to the people and then you just have to be critical so that we are going to give you the Ohan. Is that it? So it destroys the credibility of the awarding institution. Because it's subjective in nature in the sense that you just have to be critical, you know. And then we are going to let us represent to you the represent you to the people that you are this good. That is really, really difficult that's really dangerous to be honest well Maria Reza was convicted of cyber libel in the Philippines and then uh, she somehow she somehow like wrote something on Rappler about Wilfredo King with the allegation of Wilfredo King has taken part has taken part of human trafficking and illegal drugs and it was the time when uh, Chief Justice Corona was being investigated too in the Congress and Senate and they wanted CG Corona out and this Wilfredo well, King was very furious considering that she, he was dragged into this scenario and there were heavy allegation of him and then later the court could not find proof could of Rappler's claim that is why Maria Reza was convicted of cyber libel you know that's that's the entire case and then more than a year later, later she was awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize amazing Amazing. I don't really have. I don't have any. I don't have anything against Maria Reza. Maybe she's a good person to her friends and family, and to her colleagues. She has friends, but you know, let's let's be objective in the sense that why she was given the award. She. You don't really have to be critical to a person so that you are going to receive the award. You just have to do something. 
So let me remind you about the duty of the CDC in the Philippines. In the 1973 Constitution, I am no brainer. Uh, let me recall that one in my mind. I might forget some words, but you know, let me try to tell you the duty of the citizen in the Philippines in, according to 1973 Constitution. Article 5, Section 1 states It is the duty of the citizen to be loyal to the Republic to honor the Philippine flag, to defend the state and contribute to its development and welfare, to uphold the constitution and obey the laws, and to cooperate to the duly constituted authorities in the attainment and preservation of a just and orderly society. As you can see, where is Dresa? What did she do? She did not represent the Filipino people. She violated the citizens' duty. By making up stories, she worked in a newspaper and then she wrote something against an, a private person, namely Wilfredo King. And then when she was convicted of cyber libel, she went to the public and appealed to the press and to the Filipino who were, who, were, who were watching with the press conference at that time to protect their rights. Were we oppressed? The answer is no. She was convicted. She was not oppressed. The state has given her so much tolerance with what she did. You know, I do not know why the Nobel Peace Prize, the Committee of the Nobel Peace Prize, mislook these things because these, these are facts. You can see the videos of Reuters stating uh, or portraying what happened to Reza at that time in that in that past in that distant past maybe two years ago so i am not against resa i am not against maria resa we do not know each other really but giving her the award because she was critical to the government specifically to the duterte government well it's subjective so I, I do not really think, I do not really think she deserves that. I do not know with you, I'm, this is my opinion. You can have your own opinion, you can make your own video also. So, whatever your thoughts are, if, if you think you have something in mind, just comment below. And then let's talk. If you want to talk, then it's alright with me. So, this will be all for today. This is Kenya Levit YouTube channel. Thank you and goodbye.